The Minister of Finance, Kemi Adeosho, had a session with the senators just on Thursday where she briefed them on the impact and uh, the state of the Nigerian economy. Let's quickly draw from her and hear what she had to say at that time. Good plan. And we're doing absolutely our best to get through this difficult period. And I explained how we're doing that. We're being extremely disciplined around our spending. We're investing in the essential infrastructure. I gave the metric. We have released 74 billion naira to work in two months, compared to 19 billion for the whole of last year. We are doing everything possible to avert and to manage the situation, which we didn't create, unfortunately. I'm not too worried about the IMF projection, and I'll tell you why. Because IMF's job, one of their functions, is global economic surveillance. They've equally issued a negative report on Britain as a result of Brexit. So I don't think we should panic every time IMF speaks. I think we need to be confident around what we are doing and where we are going. The Minister of Finance, do you suppose she's in touch with the realities in Nigeria today from that statement she made? Not very much in touch with reality <laughs> because uh, I think uh, many of our leaders are, are actually... Um, cut off from what's happening in the, on the, street, in the streets, where people are actually groaning and crying for their, their daily bread. Um, government cannot always be blaming everything and everybody except themselves. That is one thing with this government, always blaming somebody and not being able to say, I did something wrong, I need to make a change. I think that is one thing with this government. They need to take a look at what they have done, their policy framework, what actually are the programs that they are put in place, and how did those programs work out? Do they need to fine-tune some things? Because if government has delayed, they've been able to start this year's budget, and actually there are the issues about to release money for the various sectors and activities in the budget, and government still finds its... Uh, um, fashionable to always say that all is well, everything. Meanwhile, things are getting worse. Look at the exchange, look at inflation. For how many years? Double digit. For how, for how many years? The issues that the, uh, food prices mm. getting worse, security so, is getting worse. So what so, would be your final words concerning my final the word, recession situation gov we're in? Gov government, like I said earlier, government should take a, a look at the budget again and release money as quickly as possible. Um, if there's need to get money, even if it means printing, and empower the states to pay salaries, let money circulate, let, 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 let government spend its way out of this crisis. It may create a little more inflation, but at least people will be active and we will to come out of this recession. Indeed, Professor Ndubisi Nwokoma, Head of Department of Economics, University of Lagos. Many thanks indeed for talking to us on State of the Nation. Let's quickly tell you some more about uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the defense situation in Nigeria's northeast. The Nigerian army has deployed another batch of 700 officers and men to Liberia on a peacekeeping mission. Ahead of their departure to Liberia, the chief of the army staff, Lieutenant General Tukar Burite, advised the troops to abide by the rules of engagement, exhibit braveness and professionalism, and also to respect the cultural sensitivity of the people of Liberia. He also reminded them of the United Nations' zero tolerance to drug trafficking. Also, the Nigerian army has confirmed that 19 soldiers and three civilian JTF members have been wounded in an ambush by Boko Haram terrorists in Borno State, northeast of Nigeria. The acting spokesman for the army said that uh, the troops were attacked while returning from their defense locations after clearing remnants of the insurgents in Goru, uh, Gongo village and its environs. He says that the terrorist makeshift camps were destroyed while various weapons, including an anti-aircraft gun and armored personnel carrier, were also recovered. At this time, I want to thank you so much indeed for being a part of State of the Nation. That's how it's been on the program. I am Gimba Omar, and bye for now.